Hello, hello, my dear and beautiful Libras, like Venus itself, your ruling planet. This is your horoscope for 2024. And by the time this um, video is up on YouTube, it's going to be already 2024. So welcome to 2024. It's going to be fabulous. Just believe me. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start with uh, first with Pluto, planet of transformation, planet of subtle influences. Um, you know, um, Pluto's game is a long-term game, so it will unfold its influence and changes in your life only like in 20 years, um, upcoming 20 years. During those 20 years, you will be transforming uh, yourself, self-esteem, and it's about making the right choices uh, those 20 years. And it's all uh, going to be happening in your fifth house. Uh, Pluto will enter your fifth house on 20th of November 2024 for 20 years. It has been uh, in your fourth house uh, last 15 years, since 2008. Yes, last 15 years, <laughs> you heard me right. So during, you know, um, when Pluto is transiting the fourth house, during that time, uh, last 15 years, uh, since 2008, this part of your life changed um, incredibly, let's say. It's transformed. How you view um, the fourth house is the family. The fourth house is your own family. It's your roots, uh, where you come from. So probably um, last 15 years, you, you know, you've been transforming into a person who changed completely his view on what is a family, what what you call a home, what is your um, country, like um, mother country, let's say, or what you call your roots. Um, it is kind of like what, what is to make a family. So... Um, what is what it what it takes to be real family? You know, probably your view on these topics changed a lot. Also, fourth house is a mother's life. So maybe for the last fifteen years as well, your mother's life changed incredibly. Mm, and there were like some big uh, transformation and um, transformations and changes were happening that, that were deeply affecting you. And also, my dear Libras, fourth house rules um, citizenship, immigration. So you might have been immigrated in the last fifteen years. You know, you're already now in a different country. You have maybe already a holder of a different uh, citizenship. You've changed maybe. Um, or just immigrated to another city, <laughs> but completely different. That actually made such a profound changes in your uh, view uh, to those topics uh, that you can actually give real um, advices, you know, real value advices. Also for house uh, rules, um, uh, real estate. Maybe for the last 15 years you've been in this business in real estate and now you are quitting. Uh, or maybe you bought a house and you lived there 15 for 15 years, but now you are selling it. Mm, or it's somehow destroyed or it's somehow changed or you know it's many different things but the thing is here that maybe uh, your house your house like location is changed what you call home uh, or you're just let's say rebuilding the house again <laughs> after 15 years uh, so you decided it's a time uh, or you're buying somewhere a house somewhere very far because you immigrated mm. And also having kids, you know, uh, you've gone through maybe all sorts of family transformations from marriage to divorce, having kids, immigrating with kids or, you know, uh, that affected you and the whole family, actually. And for the last 15 years, a number of um, family members were changing quite often that were also uh, influencing you in a big way. Now this transformation, as you, you know, um, um, found yourself, transformed yourself, finally, uh, you know, Pluto makes us stronger at the end. Just remember, always remember, it makes us stronger. And this planet in the fourth house made you as a, you know, um, bird, a phoenix, from the ashes to the, this beautiful, mythical um, uh, bird creature and uh, how do I call it so um, it's now coming to your fifth house uh, for as long as 20 years um, and here um, it will transform your um, you know your relationship with kids because fifth house rules kids maybe for the last 15 years if you made them kids uh, or you've been dealing with the, um, you know some kind of uh, kids affairs it uh, now it will transform your relationship with them fifth house um, also this maybe you will have more kids you would want to have kids now maybe um, as many as possible let's say or you will be dealing with them you know, now you have a baby and all those 20 years will transform you as a parent in such a profound way that um, you will be a different person in 20 years. Um, also, if you have rules, uh, business, maybe you will open a business. You will become an entrepreneur, let's say. Uh, you will be having, you will open finally your business, which will flourish uh, all those 20 years. You know, you will, you will, you know, if you will open for sure, it will stand all those 20 years. And if you put some hard work there and a little bit luck, of course, it will withstand the time. Um, so I advise you actually to open and establish a business. Also, Fifth House is uh, our creative house, which means like mm, it rules all actors, all creative endeavors, like actors, singers, dancers, you know, performers. Um, so maybe if you if you are in this kind of profession, then you will, um, you know, you will stop this profession. But uh, uh, in my opinion here, it's going to be vice versa. So probably you will become maybe if you had this kind of wish, you know, and you've never uh, made any step towards it. Now will be the time. Next 20 years, probably you will, you know, finally um, start uh, building your uh, goal, <laughs> going towards that goal, making first steps. So which is good. And uh, at the end, you will become a famous actor maybe in 20 years. Just, you know, my advice, write down maybe what is your uh, status right now. And if you have such a dream to be an actor or actress or some kind of a, like, a beauty influencer or, you know, um, in this creative um, area, um, then I think Pluto will help you next 20 years to be there where you want to be. 
also uh, fifth house is the house, um, you know, how you have our fun house, our fun time, free time. So how you spend your uh, time, what is for you to have fun. So Pluto will transform this area a lot. If you've been uh, maybe like, you know, having fun and uh, going out a lot and not, let's say, paying so much serious attention to how you have fun, with whom you have fun, let's say, or um, excessively, let's say, drinking or smoking, uh, then this might stop. You might change your point of view on those things and actually to discover new ways of having fun uh, in your life. Um, also, uh, fifth house rules, uh, fifth house is the house of love triangles. So here a little bit uh, careful, I would say, because Pluto coming to the fifth house, um, it might end all love triangles, <laughs> or you might discover and it will finish, or if you are in such situation, then it will put an end uh, to this kind of situation. And Pluto, um, indicator of the like influential authority people, uh, with the big money, let's say, with big pockets, and coming to your fifth house, most probably you will be if you will be going out and partying, you might have been, you know, you, you will be meeting these kind of people quite often. Uh, maybe you will not know that, but mm, for the next 20 years, um, or maybe you will be just um, getting these kind of invitations to, you know, VIP parties or, or you, you know, if you want uh, to get such invitations, you will. Uh, okay, here with Pluto, I think it's um, enough. Um, next. And just one thing that I want to say, Pluto is the indicator of a big money. So probably you will be pouring a lot of also money or money will be coming to you through kids or through your business or through becoming, you know, some doing some creative uh, art. So just for your, um, you know, like as FYI. <laughs> okay, let's move to Saturn. Saturn, whole year is going to be in your sixth house. Saturn uh, is the planet of taking responsibility, is the planet of discipline, is the planet of restrictions. Uh, so coming to your, I mean, um, being transiting in your sixth house, uh, sixth house is the house of eating habits, is the house of health. So Saturn coming to the sixth house um, might indicate that you will take more responsibility of what you eat, how you eat, um, like at what time you eat, your schedule, you know, of eating, or you might go on a diet, maybe some sort of, you know, you might restrict yourself somehow, uh, but I advise you not to overdo so. Um, Saturn can be quite hard to deal and harsh on yourself, so um, pay attention and be very wise. Also, uh, in the health matter, it might indicate that you will go to checkups. If you will have some, you know, um, some issues or um, something that is um, was quite bothering you uh, quite for a long time, don't ignore that. I would suggest you to go and check it up um, or find some uh, doctor who can really help and just uh, here uh, in health terms, you know, Saturn in the sixth house might indicate also bones. Uh, Saturn rules our bones and your back might hurt, back bones might hurt, even if you never had this kind of um, <laughs> issues, now it could come up, and also it rules legs and teeth, all the bones, so, you know, um, the checkup at dentist would be also a big plus. Um, uh, sixth house is also obligations house, so you might uh, get, um, you may get a new job with, um, uh, let's say, strict contract, because Saturn is a strict and disciplined planet, so that you will need to go with this, like, you know, oblige with this contract, go with the rules, um, or also, uh, sixth house rules, uh, pets, you may get one pet, a pet, let's say, or, which is also an obligation, you know, which uh, you will need to take care uh, of and um, quite responsible <laughs> thing um, to step in. Also, this house is our routines. Uh, your routine might change, uh, how you spend time, uh, let's say, a transportation mode. If you've been like, let's say, um, traveling by car to work uh, and home between home and work, uh, now maybe you will be traveling by uh, public transport. Or if you travel like and vice versa by public transport, now you get a car. Uh, or your work location changed and you will just walk to there. Or like uh, you will be spending time um, online, working and spending time at home. Um, also work can change. Six houses will work. You may uh, you may get a job which has more responsibility, uh, like or um, position. You you may be offered a position which also will have quite weighty you know responsibility because Saturn is the responsibility planet. Um, also here, um, six houses also house of solving problems. Um, Saturn here may indicate may indicate that at work with colleagues or uh, all sorts of issues can come up. So, um, but you will learn a lot and you will learn how to work it out. You know, uh, if some issues will come up with um, colleagues uh, at the end of this transit, you will know uh, how to deal. <laughs> Uh, in regards to pets, by the way, maybe their health will be, uh, if you have pets already, maybe their health will be um, some concern. So um, you may go to check out their health. Uh, here uh, with the Saturn, I would like to add uh, one transit which will happen. Uh, in uh, On 10th of April, Saturn will conjunct Mars in your sixth house at 14 degrees of the sixth house. So here might be some, you know, surgeries or a risk of, let's say, being cut because Mars rules everything uh, like knives, everything sharp. Uh, devices, so some sort of sort of accidents can happen. So just extra careful, a little bit careful around this date, uh, you know. Um, and the most affected uh, Libras uh, are those who are born seventh of October, plus or minus five days. So just um, you know, uh, make yourself cautious and uh, take an extra care 
during that period. Or it also might just indicate about your pets, let's say surgeries. <laughs> um, so yeah. Mm. Next, let's move to our uh, the happiest planet, Jupiter, planet of luck, happiness, prosperity, planet of expansion. And Jupiter, um, in 2024, until 26th of May, is still transiting, will be still transiting your 8th house um, until 26th of May. So 8th house since last year, May 2023, uh, and until uh, May 2024, um, in the 8th house, probably it was bringing a lot of, you know, um, topics surrounding, like, 8th house is the house of other people's money. It's like uh, money that comes to you, but through other people, like government or your spouse um, or some kind of bank. So maybe you you were getting or you will get uh, government help, some scholarship, uh, some bank loans were easier for you to get, probably with the good interest rates. Also, um, other people's money, let's say your spouse uh, were getting um, quite um, lucky, let's say, in terms of... Um, maybe job, a uh, uh, higher paid job, let's say he was um, offered or or is going to be offered, you know, uh, this year. Uh, or um, also your husband or wife are helping quite a lot in terms of finances. And it has also authorities, um, all sorts of tax authorities, maybe. Um, but Jupiter here in the 8th house, it would um, play, play out as expanding your taxes. So maybe you were, let's say, paying uh, or obliged to pay more taxes here a little bit uh, careful uh, it has also an inheritance maybe you got an inheritance or your spouse get uh, got an inheritance or will get inheritance uh, which is a big plus mm. also eighth house is house of crisis traumas frustrations here jupiter is uh, placement is very good uh, because it's um, let's say helping you to cope with the uh, traumas uh, cr uh, like crisis situations um, it wasn't easy let's say but it was not um, so dramatic um, as let's say it would be <laughs> and it will not be until 26th of may and uh, all sorts of like frustrations were easy um, deal with let's say uh, so here and jupiter is helping you actually and if you would like to find some um, therapist or a psycho psychologist it will be very very lucky for you to find a very good professional mm. Also, 8th house is the house of intimate privacy house. Uh, so mostly, probably, you uh, since last year, you were craving for privacy, more uh, intimacy, or you could have been, like, building boundaries with uh, your surrounding, you know, or with your steady sweetheart, uh, with your spouse, mm, maybe even overdoing it, <laughs> because Jupiter is planet of expansion. So watch out if you've been, um, let's say... Um, you know, a little bit distancing yourself from your spouse or um, your sweetheart. Uh, but your priority was, for sure, privacy <laughs> and is still remaining until uh, end of May. Jupiter uh, actually is your ruler of your third house. Uh, and third house rules siblings, relatives, let's say, neighbors. And Jupiter coming to eighth house, probably you were dealing maybe with their problems, like with the problems of your siblings or with the problems of uh, uh, relatives, kind of neighbors, or in their life, uh, something big was happening that you were also playing part. In. So after 26th of May, uh, Jupiter will come to your ninth house until 10th of June 2025. Ninth house is, um, let's say, one of the base placements. Um, here, Jupiter will expand, will make it a lucky shower for you in the areas of travels, in the area of learning. Uh, you will travel probably a lot. You will start traveling starting from June, so get ready. That uh, summer suit, <laughs> um, you will, uh, your travels will be more and more or if you were planning to um, enter a university it might happen as well after june you maybe you will start learning something uh, expanding your horizon you know your knowledge or you will get a degree or a certificate most probably in a foreign country in a foreign university like with the foreign people because jupiter is is the indicator of the foreigners in foreign countries foreign lands so most probably you will get not in your country that degree or dream certificate. Also, ninth house is the publishing house. Maybe you published a book. I mean, you, you're going to publish a book and you're getting ready with that. Um, and it looks gorgeous uh, uh, after 26th of May. Um, or maybe you will be on the you know um, on the cover of the journal in June after uh, after May. Um, and Jupiter will give you this chance uh, to shine on some <laughs> cover of uh, some well-known journal. Uh, ninth house is also legal proceedings cases. If you've been you know um, if you had some. Um, legal affairs or cases, uh, you will win those cases for sure, uh, and you will have advantage, um, I'm, and it will be, um, it will be resolved in your favor. Uh, Jupiter will help in that as our, li as our little angel, but not little, he's a big angel, let's say. Also, um, Nine House is uh, all sorts of documents, and if you were, um, getting ready with the visa, citizenship, or residence permit. After May, uh, rest assured, you will get that dreamed residence permit, citizenship, a visa, or, um, you know, all these documents that are uh, required to travel to foreign countries or be in a foreign country. Um, also, Ninth House rules our mind, our higher mind, our thinking. Um, you will widen. You will become more philosophical, you know, and deeply affected person, let's say, um, about the world. You will have this hunger uh, starting June. <laughs> you will have this hunger to know everything, to know all other cultures, all other world, let's say, or even to know the concepts of life. Um, and um, 
also ninth house because uh, Jupiter uh, rules your um, siblings and relatives, neighbors, your siblings, like brothers, sisters, or relatives, like uncles, aunties, or neighbors, maybe like moving to a foreign land. Um, they were moving there or getting some, uh, they will get um, a citizenship or they will get a visa, they will move uh, finally um, after 26th of May to a foreign country. Okay, let's move to the eclipses. Eclipses happen. Uh, four times uh, in 2024 they will happen and they will happen because of lunar nodes uh, your lunar nodes are in the seventh house and in the first house north node is in the seventh and south node in the first this is very important uh, houses uh, this house is called angular houses uh, you know um, like in the sky there is like a um, four arrows pointing four sides and uh, um, and they're like a cross so uh, first house is like it's it's me myself and seventh house is other people um, and, and other relationship business relationships right so and uh, another one is like where I live, where I come from, and the final one, uh, where I go, where is my status, what I do, um, what is my so social status, what is my career, how people see me, right? So your lunar nodes uh, in this axis, um, a very important one. It's all about relationships. It's all about uh, self-esteem. It's all about business relationships. Also, um, you might, you know, um, during this time, um, lunar nodes moved to this axis uh, last year, July in 2023. So they will be there in 2024 and eclipses will be moving you forward like skyrocketing you know moving you forward this is their job to move us forward faster because you know we are as people are sometimes indecisive we are afraid of everything almost and um, eclipses help us to get rid of what uh, is holding us back and moving us forward to our destiny because nodes are known to be uh you know this arrow of destiny what we should uh, be moving towards and what we should release in this lifetime um so this year eclipses will help you in the area of relationships uh, so steady sweethearts if you don't have anyone so probably you will um, meet someone very special who will become your uh, sweetheart or if you have already long-term relationship with someone then you will get married or it can also uh, play out vice versa you can get divorced um, you know uh, nodes are also um, releasing some things that are not anymore working or that is holding us back and not moving us forward so divorces might happen as well uh, also who i am this is going to be changing a lot you will be um, thinking a lot reconcepting you know retransforming yourself and um, um and not only love relationships but also business relationships maybe you will be building business relationships with someone or you will meet someone very um you know your new uh, business partner who will help you in a big way um also um, this axis uh, responsible for our look you probably uh, since last year july you will be a lot reflecting and uh, thinking about your look how you look like uh, like are you beautiful are you attractive um, this kind of thoughts were in your mind and that's why maybe you will you're going to be or you already did change something some appearance in yourself in your appearance uh you know you went through so you might gone some you know plastic surgeries or you will be doing so if you like you, you will be thinking harder about it and eclipses will push you even forward if you ever had such a dream uh like changing anything you know or even like as simple as changing haircut totally or the hair color that you've never done before let's say uh or you already did um, since July, because as I said, this influence started last year, July, and it will even more enforce itself in 2024. Uh, somehow, maybe you will be just changing uh, clothes, like a new style, new me. <laughs> um, all in all, you understood me, so it's all about self-transformation and relationships, how other people view you, um, who you are in this life with, let's say, and uh, how do I look like, and other people. Um, also, here I would mention that this axis is also about uh, enemies, um, our open enemies or competitors, I like to say actually competitors, uh, that we know face to face. Um, they will become also active because you self-transforming yourself, your appearance, uh, probably they will be activated uh, as, you know, um, as being a little bit, let's say, envy, <laughs> a little bit jealous. Uh, and this kind of people might, you know, be surrounding you, come across you. So just be mindful with whom you are communicating. Okay, uh, let me tell you which dates eclipse is going to happen in 2024. So first eclipse will happen 25th of March in your first house. 25th of March is the um, is eclipse all about changing the look, uh, changing how you look like. So around 25th of March, you may be deciding to get that plastic surgery or to get that hair cut, or you can get that, you know, dye your hair finally, or, um, I don't know, um, change your uh, style totally, let's say, um, like wearing something that you've never um, wear before, or um, it's about how I look like, or it will be just, um, you know, um, self-transformation, you will become somehow a new person, you will look differently uh, at yourself. Um, okay, next eclipse will happen 8th of April in your 7th house. Here, it's a very special eclipse. You might meet, um, you know, someone very special. Or if you have already um, some sweetheart, uh, if you are in a serious relationship, then you will get married. Or if the relationship not working anymore, then divorce can happen too here. Mm. Or you might, if it's not about love, then it's about business relationship. You might open business and start a business partnership with someone around 8th of April. Uh, next one, 18th September. 18th September eclipse will happen in your 6th house. 6th house is the house of health, work, and job. 
So here you might get a new job, maybe uh, job offers can be coming to you, you know, uh, you might change your work or you might change uh, your, you know, something related to your health can come up or something related to your pet also can be um, indicator. And uh, here you will around this 18th September, you will need to uh, sort out something, you know, there will be some um, issue coming. So you will have to deal with that at that time. And the last one, 2nd of October in your first house. Again, it's about you. It's about how you look. It's about how you feel about yourself, what you think about yourself. So again, the same topics as 25th of March uh, might come up. Okay, here I want to say one more thing. Your north node, which is in the seventh house, uh, will conjunct Chiron in the seventh house during February, March, and April, so most of spring. Chiron, now, you know, Chiron is, um, uh, you know, from mythology. He's a healer. He's a teacher. It's a half horse, half human uh, from Greek mythology. And it will conjunct your north node in the seventh house, which might indicate that um, you might get together with the partner. If you've been, you know, uh, in a, let's say, bad relationship or somehow arguing a lot, a lot recently, then there is a good chance that you might mend your relationship or actually heal someone. Like uh, if you've been Mm, let's say in a feud with uh, any of your uh, surrounding uh, person, uh, some friend, I mean, like if you've argued with some friend, you might get along again, you might heal your relationship with that person and you can become again friends. Um, some friend can, can come back, you know, or even enemy, like your competitor, you might uh, start to understand each other and maybe even, you know, become friends. Or um, someone can help you with the business at that time. So um, you might meet someone who can help you in a big way. So or, you know, you can meet uh, two people or one person who has two personalities, let's say. Uh, this is also very possible because Chiron is indicator of number two because it's a half horse, half human. So that's why I'm saying that you might meet some, like, some two people or one person who has, like, mm, two different, let's say, personalities or something too different, you know, two different homes. <laughs> or maybe you're going to be meeting the same person in two different places <laughs> that you well, won't expect. Okay, let's move to uh, next um, Mars, our energy, our drive, our engine, our movement, where, well, this year, Mars will be retrograding, but just at the last month of 2024, starting from 7th of December in your 11th house. Uh, so 11th house is the house of um, a lot of people, let's say, um, friendship house. So probably uh, Mars here retrograding, meaning will be, you know, less drive, less um, actions, like you will have like a drop of motivation, so maybe in December uh, next year, uh, in 2024, you will be less meeting or, um, you know, you would want to stay home more and not to see friends, but friends will be, of course, calling you and um, or even to meet new friends, less motivation to do so, less energy to do so. Uh, or you might meet, it's also an indicator you're just going to meet like uh, your old friend who you know very good and um, she she or he might visit you at that time. Or um, it's also indicates maybe you go back to old social club that you were member before and Afterwards, not anymore, but now you might want to go back to that social club or friend circle, let's say, online as well can be. You might reconnect with old friends or um, social communities online. Mm. So otherwise, well, Mars will be all year direct. So <laughs> there will be lots of motivation engine and no worries about that. Uh, next, Mercury. Mercury, our lovely planet of communication uh, that rules technology as well. Um, writing, our speaking, retrogrades three times uh, each year. And I will tell you the dates. During Mercury retrogrades, it's really not advisable to do plastic surgery. It's not advisable to uh, sign contracts, you know, because Mercury is a planet of communication. Because you will, you know, redo this or you change something or you will not like some clause and you will have to change some things there. And it's always, when Mercury is retrograde, it means it's just redoing everything. So that's why it's not advised to do plastic surgeries as well, because you might not, you might not like it or the result will not be as... Um, you want it um, and there could be some changes uh, that you will have to do uh, afterwards and also not advisable to buy um, technical uh, stuff like technical appliances like um, cars also not advisable to buy because those things um, might be uh, with some issues that you won't notice at the first but then or simply that you will not like it or it will not fit your decor or <laughs> there could you know many things can come up just uh, it's not advisable those periods to buy um all technical things or phones to buy a phone as well to buy um expensive gift as well and to sign contracts mm. so uh, it will first retrograde of mercury will happen uh, from first of april until 25th of april so basically whole april in your seventh house seventh house is you know um, the house of partnerships again it will happen in the house of uh, uh let's say uh, these lunar nodes um so most probably uh, your exes uh your um, like old relationships will you know will remember you and they will be calling you texting you or they won't uh, they might want to get along again meet again so these kind of situations can come up again or business partners that you stop working with and again they will come back to you um you know asking if you would like to do another round of business or another round of um production or anything um next one next retrograde of mercury will happen from 5th august until 28th of august 
in your 12th house. So 12th house is the house of self, is private house, is the house of self-isolation, and it's the house of far lands. During August, maybe um, here's a big chance that you will be going very far into a very familiar place. Maybe if you live somewhere abroad, you will be going back to where you've been before uh, and, you know, or where you've born and or also it indicates that you're going to finishing something. If you're not going to travel somewhere very far, then 12th house is also a house of loss, house of finishing something. So you will be probably, um, you know, um, um, finishing some um, things. And the last Mercury retrograde in 2024 will happen from 26th of November until 15th of December in your third house. So it's the very, like, the most important one because third house rules um, all the electronic devices, a communication house. So here, don't buy any electronic appliances, devices, uh, technical stuff. And um, uh, also, as third house rules communications, if you're traveling somewhere at that time, double check your tickets, double check passport, double, every, every, double check everything. And make sure to be on time or even uh, way before time, <laughs> wherever you wanted to go. Mm. Okay, let's move to the loveliest planet, your ruler, beauty planet, Venus. Uh, Venus rules love, beauty, and money. <laughs> and it's your ruler, dear, beautiful Libras. Uh, let me tell you happy news. Venus will not retrograde in 2024, which means we have full speed Venus, just direct, shining bright. Um, you know, when Venus is in our sign, we all love Venus in our sign because we are feel... Uh, we feel that we're in love with life, we're in love with ourselves, we feel beautiful, we feel shining, we feel uh, admired, we're like a magnet, you know, to others, others are attracted to us. And it's easier uh, to convince anyone to do anything at that time. So when Venus is going to be at home in Libra, um, let me tell you, mm -hmm, checking, checking, 29th, from 29th of August until 23rd of September, September will be transiting Libra. So during that time, pretty much your best day, dear uh, Libras, you will shine, you will be a magnet, and the Venus at home is working as 100, you know, <laughs> so uh, you will be feeling uh, like in love with life, you will be feeling comfort, wanting to be loved and attracted to all beauty, uh, beautiful things. Mm, also, uh, Venus transiting the seventh house, we also like when uh, Venus transits seventh house, this transit happens from April 5th until April 29th in your marriage meeting someone. Seventh house is the marriage house. So you might meet someone during Venus in your seventh house. And if you have already someone, uh, he or she will be so sweet, sweet as sugar, that you will be thinking um, how you lived before <laughs> without uh, this person or that she's just incredible. And you met someone finally. I mean, you have someone in life that you want to get married with, or maybe you will get married during that time. Mm. Also here, let me think... Mm -hmm. Yes, and I would like to mention one thing here. Venus uh, will conjunct your North Node, 17th of April. Very, very enchanting day. In the 15th degree of... Um, yeah. It will conjunct in your 7th house, 17th of April. Very, very enchanting day. 17th of April, mark this day. Uh, for sure, most probably you're going to meet someone very special. Uh, this conjunction will be supported by Moon, and it will be loveliest day that you will remember forever and if you have already someone then that day will be sweet as sugar with your steady sweetheart or even for a business is the best day to open business but at that time as i said mercury will be retrograding so most probably this will be more about love i feel <laughs> and most probably you will be meeting that person in a beautiful a bit posh place or your sweetheart will take you to such place enjoy dear libras and 15th degree of your seventh house indicates that and this day will be very special for those Libras who were born on 8th of October plus or minus 5 days. So get ready, those Libras, all the Libras will, li will feel this effect, but those Libras will be specially pampered, let's say. Crazy, amazing, amazing day, I feel. And for the last, I would, say, I would like to mention about Lilith. Lilith is the black moon, uh, is actually a mathematical point in the sky. So... Um, from 29th of June, so after, uh, at the end of June 2024, until 27th of March 2025, it will transit your sign, uh, Libra. Uh, you know, during Lilith transiting our sign, um, usually negative people attracted to our surrounding or our fears can, you know, surface. So my advice here, just don't pay attention to any fears. Don't think about your fears. Don't feel that fear. Try it. And there is nothing to be feared of. Just believe in yourself and Lilith influence will stop the moment that you forget about fears and negative people will stop um, coming into your life during this transit. My strong advice until from 29th of June 2024 until 27th of March 2025, don't be afraid of anything. Uh, don't concentrate on your feels, uh, fears and it should be all fine. So that's it. This was your horoscope for 2024, my beautiful, lovely Libras. And I wish you the best 2024. And believe me, according to your horoscope, it's going to be that way. Bye.